So I've thawed out this bit of meat and realized that it's venison. So I'm going to stew it. And I've only got that many onions left. I'm gonna to go to the shops and get some more, uh, but I'm gonna prepare everything anyway. So I've crushed with the knife, you know how you do, you crush like this, you crush. I've crushed garlic, four, four large cloves of garlic. Um, then I, I would like more onions, but I only have that at the moment. So I'm gonna go down to the shops and get some more onions. This is all the carrots I've left in the house. So I'm putting all this in with this a bit of um, uh, venison, this chunk of venison. And I have a feeling I know where it came from. I think it's the Wicklow Hills. Anyway, then uh, some juniper berries. Then some whole cardamom. There's some whole cardamom. Now, this is a secret thing. I was given this as a gift. Didn't know what to do with it. It's got cinnamon in it. It's Jack Daniels. Do a bit of basting. And then finally, uh, put in some uh, Krabby's ginger beer. So, um, I have to pop the lid of that, I forgot to pop the lid of that. Oops. Ah, I can't do this one-handed and film. Uh, there we go, I did it. Put the lid off, then put that in there. A whole bottle of Krabby's. So I'm gonna go down to the shops and I'm gonna get some more onions and put in there. But I'm gonna start it off, listen to the fizz of the ginger beer. I'm gonna start off by putting it in the top right hand aga oven. And once in there, let's see. There we go, there we go. Now I'm gonna go to the shops, get more onions, and then that will move from there over to this oven here. This is the slow cooking oven. So it'll start off in the hot oven. So there we go. Some venison that I found in the deep freeze for stewing. Now I've gone down to the village. This has had a half hour of cooking and it smells delicious already here in the kitchen. So I got more onions. I got red onions and white onions. I love the red onions, the sweetness it adds to a stew. I also got a um, root fennel. So I'm putting that in as well. So it's gonna be more root fennel will be added to this venison, venison stew as well as these onions so that they will um, all stew beautifully together. Okay, I spilt some down the back, but that's okay. Most of it's gone in here. So I will um, put the lid back on and give it another 15 minutes or so in this top right hand oven. So I gotta put the, uh, use these things and I gotta do it with two hands so I can't film myself putting it back in the oven for the moment anyway. Another 15 minutes in there and then it'll move into the slow oven. There we go. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Okay, this has been stewing for a good few hours, many hours, slow stewing in the slow oven. So, and it's full of these delicious juices now. So I'm going to decant it onto this, uh, por portions of it, 
onto this. The rice, the carrots, the fennel. Sorry, the stew was not rice, but it was onions, fennel, carrots there. Now, and the juice. So that is what I've done with this wonderful haunch of venison. And I can tell you now, I'm gonna be eating that whole plate. Yum, 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 yum.